<laughs> Alright guys, we are entering probably the most photogenic part of the entire garden. What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we are in Pinecrest, Florida, which is a part of Miami-Dade County, specifically Pinecrest Gardens, because I've never been there. It's only five bucks to get in, and I thought I'd save you guys some money with some cheap things to do. I believe there is a wedding going on right now, so I'm not sure how that's going to interfere with just the... Yeah, there's a catering van right here and there's people dressed up. So this is a good spot, I guess, to have a wedding. This is the immediate entranceway, so like when you drive in, you go down this path and are welcome with Pinecrest Garden. By the way, this is the original site of Jungle Island. If you guys know it today, it's on Watson Island in Miami. It used to be here, 1936 to 2003. That's when they moved and then this just became a garden. Uh, yeah, this is uh, a plaque saying Parrot Jungle Historic District it is on the National Register of Historic Places. Barack Obama. He was in office when this was added to that. Pretty cool, historic place. Uh, but we do have spaces for you to have your own wedding. That is where they are having their dinner and stuff and whatnot. Here's another section where they have, I guess, the newlyweds. All right, we just paid. This is what the ticket looks like. Tony got some holographic thing going on here. Better looking than I expected. All right, so we just came in through those gates right there. The ticket booth is over there. This is part of the wedding venue space that you can rent. And we are walking down this path. Honestly, this is very relaxing. It's not the first time I go to like a garden. I've gone to a Japanese garden also on this channel over in Broward, I believe, or Palm Beach County. It's pretty far, but they're very relaxing spaces. And that's why I like it. Oh, what the hell? Look at this. These are so cool. It's like a big piece of lettuce. Guys, look at how majestic this path is. There's palm trees all the way up there. I've never seen a palm tree that tall. There's animals on the path there's these like stone walls lining up the the path guys look at this like there's so much plants and trees and different cool stuff i'm not really like a plant or tree person but it's inevitable appreciating nature when you're surrounded by it check out this palm tree that i was talking to you guys about this palm tree is so tall holy hell hey it was like all the way up there when you're walking here trying to get good photo opportunities don't forget to look back we just crossed this cool looking bridge and i mean it doesn't look like much as you're crossing it but when you turn around you get a really cool photo opportunity right here not just of the bridge but you can have somebody standing there and someone standing here where i'm at and taking a good picture and this massive tree right behind it so thumbs up on the photo ops already we are just like five ten minutes into the the walk look at all of these bamboos people have carved their names especially those with a significant other mj plus cr this is actually recent july 17 of this year every time i look at bamboo i think of that rush hour scene when they fall off the building and they're fighting and they're basically just holding on for dear life onto a piece of bamboo that's all that comes to mind when i think of bamboo <laughs> we've come across a historical building I'm not sure exactly what this one is used for. This has historical entrance building 2008, dedicated by the Pinecrest Village Council to the residents of the village of Pinecrest. Right beside this building that I just showed you guys is another similar looking building. I'm not sure if it's of the same design or purpose. Oh no, it's just a restaurant. So I did mention that this was the old original site of Jungle Island and I'm just looking around trying to find pieces of the past even though it's been like since 2003 that they relocated i don't think there's going to be anything left other than that plaque at the entrance that said jungle island on it but I'm sure the layouts and some of the signs directing people where to go are kept from that time i'm not sure so i think this might have been kept from back in the day because there's a lot of spider webs i'm gonna watch out it says restoration of pinecrest gardens historic bird cages so yeah this is where let's see if we can circle around back a little bit without running into spider webs. All right, so this is, it looks like a little bird thing in there. So I'm assuming they would go in there and these little holes connecting to here is where they would feed them possibly, or just like release them, I don't know. 
look at this these are massive palm trees coming straight from the ground well the water all the way up i'm not even sure how many feet that is probably like 75 feet guys a major plus about this place that i did not even think about and it's like right in your face is all of the shade that you get yes it's very hot and humid because it's we're in the summer months here in florida and it gets really bad but there is a ton of shade i mean look let me show you the path we just came from it's like shaded all the way with like little bits of the sun but nothing that would even these tables right here let me show you guys are pretty much shaded all the way and so this makes it a perfect place to come for five bucks no matter the time of year i'm sure in the winter it would be a lot more comfortable but you're not going to be cooking under the sun while you stroll amongst nature. Alright, this, this bridge is pretty cool. Let's say watch your step. It's pretty steep, but pretty high up over towards what we are going to call the back of the garden i guess i'm not even sure where i am in the garden there is a splash and play for little kids they have various uh things there's a dragon mushroom flower spring water on everybody it's perfect for days like today where it feels like it's 100 degrees so that's a good spot for the little ones to go and cool off and the parents too oh my look at how massive these trees are and you get to just walk among them circle around this big tree right here it says do not climb on the trees so we will respect those wishes i don't think i've had the urge to climb them yet but also they have a banyan bowl which is closed off there might be events or some kind of activities going on in there but on the map it looks like epcot <laughs> looks like the little dome from epcot <laughs> hey Conrad. what the heck <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on there, that, or if this is PG rated or not, but... I did say most of it was shaded, but they do have a part that is not shaded, and... Yeah. Now you gotta suffer. Well, I gotta suffer. You gotta watch me suffer. It's really hot. Feather. As we walk away from the big trees, you're gonna see it right behind me. They are really, really massive. Look at this. So majestic like holy crap i've never seen a tree this big i'm just standing here admiring the, the scale of this tree or multiple trees that look like one tree it's just it's so cool all right guys this is obviously a really great value just five dollars to come in here looking at a lake with a swan and um taking in all the good nature this the rare species trees big palm trees it's like a really good environment just to bring your family out on a weekend and uh, regardless of the temperature, it's mostly shade. This spot right here just looks so majestic, like something out of a fairy tale movie. I hope whoever got married today got a photo here. You've got colorful, beautiful plants on top, a lot of the stone arching around, and then just the centerpiece right there. This place has a ton of photo spots. Even just sitting on this bench, <laughs> just looking with the field behind you. One, two. We have arrived to what looks like the recently renovated play area. Okay, so this is really steep. Not sure if you can catch it on the camera. It's like rappelling down a wall. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I don't think you guys can see from here. Oh, it's not that steep that I need a rope, but <laughs> for a kid, I guess. All right, let's see what this is. Thank you, Spinner. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I think someone outside is supposed to spin it. I thought you could spin it here. All right, make me puke. Oh, God. Can it go, like, really, really fast? If we just, like... I don't have oh, fuck. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the assault mare garage. Hey. <laughs> Oh, okay, I'm getting kind of dizzy. Oh god, oh god! <laughs> oh. oh my god, I think I'm at the fair! 
What if I try to jump off? Break up speed real quick. All right, you ready? Go, go, go. All right. Yo, that's a good one. Oh, we got the, good. the colors so you can whack them in place. Twinkle, 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 little stuff. So you need to hit like light blue, light blue, orange, orange, yellow, yellow, orange. Oh. Oh. What? That's pretty cool. Look at this frog. This is so creative. It's got little spaces for kids to climb up or slide down. And it pretty much stops them at the end so they don't go flying off. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, it just reveals a fish-shaped hole. And all of this material on the ground is safe, or at least wow. it feels safe. Like those playgrounds that have that foamy, bouncy texture to it. This part right here I can really appreciate because if you bring your kids and teach them from the start, you know, littering is bad, you gotta care about the environment, the marine life. And so there's some signs here that I'm assuming you can probably pick up and take a picture with or something but good on them they're educating not just adults but young people too and this part right here is pretty funny it says florida is hot and big and you have chalk here and i'm gonna write something here i'm gonna have an arrow pointing here facts florida is hot and big <laughs> all right guys we are entering probably the most photogenic part of the entire garden and you can kind of see one peeking right behind me these are wooden trolls there's one right here laying down with its like feet up against a tree. And then this one right here. So you can take photos. You can't climb on them, obviously, but you can take photos in front of them or with them. And uh, this is a great finale to the garden. I was wondering if this place was pet friendly and there's a dog statue towards the exit. And I think, yeah, a water fountain for dogs to drink from very thoughtful and just like that guys we are done with pinecrest gardens overall review it's worth it you're only paying five dollars to get in and there's so much to see so much to learn about if you're into plants and tree types there's also a lot of photo opportunities so get your instagram popping off of this place and uh, if you're a content creator such as myself go out make a video make an instagram reel a tiktok and obviously credit the place, Pinecrest Gardens, because they are doing a great job of uh, running a beautiful place that is just $5. So this is on the cheap side of things to do here in South Florida. There's not many on the list, so when there is one, I'll be sure to cover it. And this is an overall A plus in my book. Go check it out, Pinecrest Gardens. Info to the place down in the description. I'll throw up the link so you guys can check the hours and other things that you can check out in this place. You can rent it out if you want an event, such as the wedding that was going on today. And with that, be sure to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.